bites. Your commercial, stupid. You're a no-talent hack. And your donuts are stale. I'm out of here. Fast, fast, fast. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to Thinking Critical. This is Wes. We've got some changes to DC Comics, Caden. Kind of knew this one was coming in Batman Urban Legends number six. It's been hinted at for the two issues that Megan Fitzmartin has been writing this Tim Drake story that he's uh, a little conflicted and might have a crush on his friend Bernard. It has come out of nowhere, really, because the characters have known each other, yet these feelings have never been expressed ever Obviously, Tim Drake has been in the DC Comics canon, the DC universe, as an understudy to Bruce Wayne, one of the Robins, part of the Batman family, for 32 years now, introduced in 1989. Of that, I believe, like, two-thirds of it, he's had a girlfriend, whether it be uh, Stephanie Brown, Cassie Sandsmark, who's else in there, Lynx. There's a few of them. He's had several long-time steady uh, female acquaintances, that he's been romantically involved with, but that is no more. He's finally going to be true to himself. And I've seen the, uh, you know, the, the ebbs and flows. People are ju jubilated. Finally, you know, we got a bat family member. <laughs> and some people go, what the hell is this? I've been reading Tim Drake for 32 years. This was never hinted at. I actually saw one person say, they've been leading up to this for so long. I was like, yeah, two issues in an anthology comic is a long time to lead up to things. So let's get into the details. I'll show you, I'll show you the work and then we'll, we'll talk about it here a little bit. This is it. And this is actually pretty funny. We get Bernard and Tim Drake as Robin. They're fighting uh, off some bad guys. It's hilarious. It turns out that Bernard has been trading. I guess Megan Fist Martin did not want to treat him as a damsel in distress in the relationship. So he starts kicking more ass than Tim Drake. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But before he kicks so much ass and takes so many names, it's not even funny. He says, uh, Robin, if I don't make it out, can I ask you a favor? Tim Drake says, you'll make it out. Please tell Tim Drake. He helped me realize uh, my true self, who I am. Tell him. Well, he probably knows he's the smartest guy I've ever met. But tell him, I wish we could have finished our date. And they go on, as I mentioned, to kick a lot of booty. And they obviously win. Then another character just out of nowhere shows up and confirms to Tim Drake that he's discovering himself and Tim is feeling conflicted because he broke up with his girlfriend that he loves for no reason. Oh, there's a reason. We know why you broke up with your girlfriend. I don't think that's what Bendis was intending, but it's it's been retconned now. And we get the very final page. Tim Drake going up to the door, no longer as Robin, ringing the doorbell, telling himself, you got this, Bernard. Tim, I'm glad you're here. I've been meaning, I mean, I wanted to say. Tim says, Bernard, wait, let me talk. I'm really glad you got home okay. I was relieved, and I've been doing a lot of thinking about that night. And I don't know what it meant to me, not yet, but I'd like to figure it out. Bernard says, I was, hope I was hoping you would. Tim Drake, do you want to go out on a date with me? And Tim says, yeah. Yeah, I think I want that. So there you have it. Tim Drake is no longer in the closet. 32 years of history out the door. 20 years of that spent in long-term uh, relationships with, with female characters. No more. Tim Drake is now confirmed. I think just by what they are saying and how conflicted he was, that I think he's gay now. He might be bisexual. It does they are there are differences, but he is certain he's he's part of the LGBTQ plus representation as far as DC Comics now. This is obviously something that they 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 feel is important. We saw what um, what James Tynan did with with Alan Scott, who. There was a version of Alan Scott, I believe, on Earth 2 that was already gay. But they, they had to go back and uh, retcon that. And now we are changing Tim Drake. And you say, but Wes, Megan Fitzmartin is writing that. Who is that? Well, in the world of comic books, she's nobody. 
As in, she hasn't really written anything of significance. Obviously, she's somebody. DC Comics hired her. She's done some work on Supernatural. I think she might have been in their writer's room. She did some work on uh, DC's Superhero Girls. She did, uh, was it Robin Eternal? She's done a little bit of work here and there. So why would they let somebody with essentially no ties to the character or really ties to DC Comics and certainly no ties to DC Comics readers make such a big, enormous change to a character? Well, I'm pretty sure it wasn't her. <laughs> I think she's, she's writing what she was told to write. And where did this come from? I do not know. If you said, Wes, you don't know, but can you make an educated guess? Well, of course I can make an educated guess. If I could guess where this came from, it might be a man that's writing Batman that's going to be leaving in the not-so-distant future to go right for Substack. We know that James Tynan retconned Alan Scott, and we know from reading the Empire of the Tiny Onion newsletter available on Substack that Tim Drake is going to heavily feature in James Tynan's Fear State story. Do we think Megan Fitzmartin, a virtual unknown to DC Comics readers, would be able to make a change like this to a character before he's heavily featured in a big, enormous Batman tie-in event? Of course not. This, this probably came from James Tynan or perhaps a brain trust of James Tynan and the Batman editorial team. We know that James Tynan happens to, he, he loves Tim Drake. That was the main focus of his detective comics run, was to return Tim Drake to the Batman family and kind of restore the character, which it kind of, they've done some weird stuff with. So almost guarantee this came from James Tynan. He's a glad award-winning comic book writer. He identifies as bisexual. And also, if you go read his um, his indie comics, all of all of his protagonists are gay or bisexual themselves. So this is par for the course and, and likely came from him. Does it really matter? Should you be upset that Tim Drake is, is bisexual or gay? I don't know. Depends on how invested you are in the character. Did you buy into his relationships? Have you been a lifelong Tim Drake fan? You certainly can be upset. I have seen some people compare this to Brian Michael Bendis's retconning or, uh, you know, just overnight changing Iceman from heterosexual to, to gay. It's a little bit different, but it's pretty damn close. I mean, he didn't use a mind controller to come in here and just make Tim Drake be gay one day. And I, like I said, it was pretty laughable. I saw some of the social media like, they've been building up to this forever. It's like, yeah, two issues. That's forever, I guess, in comic books nowadays. They've built up for, for two issues. They've been building up to it forever. This certainly did come out of nowhere. Now, there are people that I know that are going to be very happy about this. I know a f friend of the channel, Jamie Andreason, is going to be very excited. He, in his mind, in his headcanon, I guess uh, Tim Drake had always been gay. So there are going to be a lot of people that are excited about this. A lot of people that aren't excited about it. This is my issue. The execution's poorly. If this was an important change, Megan Fitzmartin wouldn't have done it. They would have been able to hint at this. And it just, it, it goes against 32 years of character history. That's the real problem. This isn't James Tynan's character. He didn't create this character. This isn't fake Megan Fitzmartin's character. He, she didn't create this character. And you can say, well, DC Comics owns it. Well, of course, DC Comics owns it. But they're the, they're the caretaker of the character. And the, the creators are the ones that are to make sure that things fall in line and that the character is presented and representative of what was created in the moment of creation. Now, characters certainly evolve over time. The, the Batman that was originally created and then the Batman that we've got now that's been influenced over time is certainly uh, much different. But there's a lot of organic change to that. I have heard some people say Urban Legends is out of continuity. Everything's in continuity at DC Comics. Everything is in continuity in the Omniverse. So you can't really use that, that excuse. 
This is definitely a, a change. I guarantee you. You know, I don't. I can't guarantee because I haven't read the scripts. I'm 99% certain that this here, this change, will be reflected in the Fear State story by James Tynan, which will will heavily feature Tim Drake. This is certainly something that uh, they they think is important. If they keep up at this pace, <laughs> the, the the editorial staffs and writers at DC and Marvel. I don't know. I would say 50% of the, the Marvel and DC universe within a decade will be gay. Not exactly representative of, uh, <laughs> of the population, but I don't think that's the point. I don't think that's the point at all. When you watch television, that's not the point. You even watch kids shows. Every side character is gay. Like I said, you read every James Tynan indie book. And those are his characters. He can do whatever the hell he wants with them. It doesn't bother me, but it is noticeable that every single protagonist he writes is gay. Well, maybe not every single protagonist, but every every comic he writes has a protagonist that is gay. Maybe not, you know, some of them you have several. So this is definitely a point of emphasis. This is very important to some people. Me personally, I think it's stupid. It goes against continuity. This is an unearned moment. This is Megan Fitzmartin, likely at the direction of James Tynan and uh, the Batman group editor, inserting their own views on a character and changing something that makes no sense for the most part. And that's why it's that's why it's a bad change. The same thing with Iceman. And that's what they're going to keep doing. What's the future of Tim Drake once once James Tynan leaves Batman? Now that the, the character has been changed, he's probably the one that had ideas on what this means for Tim Drake. We're going to have a whole new team of Batman writers come in. They're going to do one of two things. They're going to do nothing with him because whoever it was was wanting to do a story with Tim Drake, this isn't Tim Drake anymore to them. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do with That's... They've they fundamentally altered the character. And DC Comics is going to want me to do this and this and this with it. I'd, I'd rather just not write it. Or they'll just go the Iceman route, hire Cena, Cena Grace or some other low-rent uh, writer that will just make Tim Drake a character of, of who he used to be or a caricature of what they perceive a, a gay superhero to be. And it'll be the most stereotypical gay character in the history of the world. This is essentially the end of Tim Drake, at least in modern you know, times. Maybe in five years, somebody will, will do something with the character that's exciting. But he'll either just be uh, you know, cannon fodder to be the most gay superhero of all times, which was, is what we saw with Iceman. Some people enjoyed that. Most people didn't. Or he just won't be used. It's going to be one or the other. And uh, I think it's kind of bull crap that... Um, and, and I'm pretty sure James Tynan had something to do with this, that James Tynan would make a change like this and just walk away. Well, it must be easy for you to just go and, and making fundamental changes to characters. We know he's done a lot of things to Bruce Wayne. And then he's just like, yeah, it's time to go work on my next deal. I mean, I don't blame him. I Go make your money, sir. But how about we take care of these uh, characters and put the toys back on the shelf the way that you, the way they were when you took them off? You're supposed to be taking care of these characters. So I think this is lame, but this is the times that we're in. You have to get used to it. Or maybe you don't have to get used to it. Maybe I've got the wrong mentality and you have to let people know that this is stupid. This is bullshit. If you want to make changes like this, you have to actually earn them. You have to go and work for them. You have to hint at them and you have to build to these things. If you want a gay Robin, you can go just make a new Robin that's gay. There's only 15 or 20 Robins out there. Some of who, whom are already gay. If you want to think about it. So whatever. A lot of people are going to be doing cartwheels claiming that they burst into tears the moment they read this at their computer at work. No, they did. That's all virtue signaling. This change will do for Tim Drake what it did for Iceman. It will make him irrelevant. He's just important enough to where they can get a, a Hollywood reporter, you know, uh, what else? Who else has got a variety article on it? And it can be the front, you know, front page headline on some some niche websites. But certainly not important enough to where 
it's it's a change that's going to be felt. It, it you see it here, you'll see it a little bit in Fear State, and then you won't see it anymore unless Cena Grace comes in to write the miniseries. In which case, you know it, it'll be it'll be horrendous. And that's uh, that's unfortunate. DC Comics has certainly been going the Marvel Comics route, and it feels like they've taken the plunge. They're going full board, virtue signaling with their comic book characters rather than honoring the history of the characters and, and what they've been through. And that's too bad. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm just a messenger. I didn't I didn't make this change. Don't blame me. I think it's stupid too. But hey, somebody's excited for it. So I guess that's all that's important, right? Who gives a shit about Tim Drake and his history when we could get people virtue signaling on Twitter and maybe get a headline article on a website? Nobody really reads that often. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I would appreciate it very much. It helps us attract more views for the channel. Subscribe for future commentary, comic book news, and reviews. And don't forget to ring the bell for notifications. If you want to talk comics, movies, and much, much more, you can follow me on Twitter, at Wes underscore from underscore TC. With that, Salamat Po, and I'm out.